Coming to us from the so-called honor killing trial in downtown Houston, jurors raising the red flag about some somebody who has some safety concerns in the courtroom. Now, the man on trial is Ali Ersan. He's accused of killing his son-in-law and his daughter's best friend. In the past hour, four jurors pulled the bailiff aside, were told that they were concerned for the safety of a prosecutor because of something they said they saw from Ersan during the cross-examination. Let's go directly to reporter Ryan Korsgaard, who has these breaking details. Ryan? We're told it was like the sign of breaking, almost like this, but there was no pin involved. Some people considered it nasty and told the court. The man who has listened to five weeks of his own trial is expected to now speak. 60-year-old Ali Ersan is expected to testify in his own defense. He is accused of killing daughter Nazreen Ersan's best friend, Gallery Bergerzadeh, and murdering his own son-in-law, Cody Beavers. Prosecutors said that Ersan attempted to cleanse his daughter by killing everyone important in her life and next planned to kill Nazreen herself. Prosecutors say Ersan was angry that his daughter brought shame to his Muslim family when she started dating, then married a Christian man. This isn't an attack on the Muslim religion. This is one man and one family's extremist views. That's how the prosecutor put it during opening statements as the trial began. The defense made a different prediction. They're going to want you to either execute them or give them life without parole based on a case that you really, truly are not going to know what happened. Today, the defense attempted to use the testimony of three of Ersan's sons to undermine Nezreen's earlier testimony. She claimed that she was the primary caregiver in an oppressive, sometimes violent home. The son said that their father was not abusive and denied knowing anything about his stalking of Nezreen and the Beavers. They said that he was upset when Nezreen ran away to be with Beavers, but not enraged as earlier witnesses testified. And we know that Ersan could testify as early as tomorrow. That is against the advice of both the judge and his attorneys. We're live downtown. Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News.